Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I'd like to do today, guys, is show you how to use the new contextual taskbar in Adobe Illustrator. You may have noticed recently within Photoshop, there is a new contextual bar, mainly focusing around your generative fill options, and they've introduced that new taskbar with inside of Illustrator. There are three different artboards here. The first one is blank because I'll be using shapes very shortly. The second one is uh, using typography. And the third one there is just a simple JPEG image. There's three main uh, contextual taskbar options that I want to look at today. Obviously, they will correspond with the particular artboard that I have preset up. So using my zoom tool, I'm just going to click and zoom into our first artboard here. And I'm just going to use the rectangle tool. Press shift to create a nice square. And I'm just going to use the lasso tool, make a selection around those two corners there. Go back to my direct selection, create a shape like so. And let's just check the color, which to be fair. And let's give that a little bit of a rotation like so. Okay, so as you can see, guys, we have this new taskbar at the bottom. Now we're going to mainly, mainly look at these three options here. You can go to edit path if you want to edit the uh, shape or anything like that. And as you can see also as well, guys, we have this generate uh, beta option. Uh, there is a previous tutorial that I've uh, released within Blue Sky Graphics that focuses around uh, that new option. But as you can see here, we have this repeat option. So if you click it, you have either a radial repeat, which you can edit and change here like so have as many different instances of that shape with inside of that uh, shape you want you can also come here as well change the point of where it rotates very simple present commander to go back there guys then we have our grid option really cool way for you to create patterns of backgrounds and all stuff like that like so and what you also have guys is mirror you can mirror your um shape now and obviously you can edit this and wherever you move that it'll always mirror it if you want to rotate this option here you can do and as you can see the mirror option mirrors every single action that you do Okay, so what you also have here, guys, is duplicate this option. So basically what it will do, it be very similar to uh, copy and paste. If I come through and click that there, you'll notice now that I have two of those shapes on top. Also as well, what you can do is lock your object. The keyboard shortcut before to do that for Mac users was Command-2, for Windows users Control-2, but now you can just simply use the icon there to lock your elements. And if you want to unlock your element, just simply right click on it, unlock your rectangle shape there. You have these little more uh, three dots for more options. You can show your properties panel if you want to do that through here. You can hide the bar. You can reset the bar position or share feedback on taskbar if you want to do that. Very simple there with the shape. And now let's have a look at the typography option. So once you click our type, as we can see now, our sort of type options are available to us. So I may want to come through and change the uh, the font type here. Like so. You can change the size of it if you want to change the size of your text. You can come through here and do area type if you want to do that. Click your area and change and edit with inside of it. You can come through here and outline the stroke if you want to do that. Create outlines in a sense, you, that will be there for, that will be a shape. And yet again, you have the options for your taskbar. And the third and last option here, guys, is like I said earlier, this is just a simple JPEG image. And now if you select it, you have this option here to image trace. So if I image trace this image now, what I will do is I'll vectorize it using your image trace. This is quite a complicated image, so it might take a few seconds for it to work it out there. But if you want to edit the trace, all you need to do is come up to your image trace panel up here and you have your default presets. And I might say high fidelity photo, for instance, and bring the high fidelity photo option through. 
because by default, what it does, it goes to uh, to black and white. And yet again, guys, depending on the complexity of your image, it may take a few seconds, a minute or so, but just always make sure that you um, stay with it. And yeah, patience is a virtue. And if you're happy with your image trace, always make sure that you expand right at the end. Just pressing the keyboard shortcut of command Z, guys, to go back as I'm a Mac user. Or when they use this control Z, you might want to come through and say Mars shape if you want to do that. And you can come through and set everything. Recolor your options here if you want to do that. Try and get rid of that circle there. Don't need you. There we go. You have the option here to link the image if you need to do that. You can edit the image within Photoshop very, very simply by clicking that element there. And you obviously have your options for the taskbar there also as well. And there you have it, guys. That's all the elements that you need to know when using the new contextual taskbar within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.